Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? Practical knowledge, shout out 1 West, 125th Street Hall, New York, under Command of General Yada. Since 1969, we've been teaching the truth of the Bible, and the truth is that the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the true Jews, and that our oppressor, the white man, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. We're not affiliated with any other Christian church or Hebrew Israelite like group. 1 West is home of the truth. If you're not 1 West, you're not in the truth. Alright? Now, what I'm trying to bring out today, what all the brothers are trying to bring out today is, we need to separate from our oppressor. Our oppressor is 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 the main uh, 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 is the is the main man is the main man that's actually destroying us, destroying so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American and Indians all together. You know what I'm saying? When the Most High God sent him against us, is because we is because we we disobeyed the Most High God. You know what I'm saying? We went away from his laws, statutes, and commandments. You can see how the way we are in the streets of Baltimore and any other uh, streets in the, in the major cities that we reside. We are totally and utterly destroyed. Why? Because we refuse to, to listen to the laws, the Most High God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Read what you got. says he shall judge the poor of the people. Who is he judging? Who is the he first? The he is the most high God. He is going to judge the poor people who is the so right now is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. He sees what we do and, and you know what I'm saying? He sees the things that we do. He sees the things that we are going through because of the oppressor, right? He sees the burdens that have been put extra on us because of the oppressor. So he is going to judge us. Let's keep reading. He shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. Read that from the top. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy. He shall judge the poor and he shall save the children of the needy. Who is the needy? It is not the oppressor. They are living lavishly up in high towers. We are here down on the streets, in the streets of Baltimore, in the streets of D.C., in the streets of Richmond. You know what I'm saying? We have children that are in need, that are in great need. Thank the Most High God for commanding General Yohanna to send brothers out here so he can feed and clothe the needy. He does this all the time. And, bec and because, he, the reason why he is able to do this is because he follows the Most High God. He is our leader right now. He is teaching us how to turn back. And without us turning back, we can never have this next part right here and shall break in pieces the oppressor. He shall break in pieces the oppressor. The oppressor is, our, is, is the white, the so-called white man. He is our oppressor. He's gonna break them into pieces. Why does he need to be broken into pieces? We can just look around and see the, the, the conditions that this oppressor has put us in. Look at what happened to Sonia Massey. He, beg, he tells us that we need to call them our oppressor when in time of need. We need to look to them. And then when we go and do that, they come into our homes and destroy us. And red rum us. You know what I'm saying? When we need help, we call the oppressor, and the oppressor is the one that comes and destroys us. That's why the Most High God needs to destroy, tear into pieces these oppressors. Read that from the top one more time. Yeah. This is Psalms chapter 72. Verse 4, he shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy. It shall break in pieces the oppressor. Drop that, give me Proverbs 22 and 16. And that's why the Most High God is going to start World War III. That's why the Most High God is going to start the civil war against these oppressors. 
Y'all want to know who the fuck for? It has nothing to do with us. Let them bastards fight it out against each other. Against each other. What we need to do is pull back to one one another. You know what I'm saying? We need to lift ourselves up. Take our love off from these oppressors and put it on our people. And then we can learn to grow. You know what I'm saying? Under the Most High God. This is how we do this. But we're not supposed to be lending our help or our love or our strength. You know what I'm saying? Our dignity, our brain power, any our creativity to any of these oppressors. We are not supposed to do that. Why? The reason why we don't do that is because they steal from us. They take from us. They are vultures. They take everything from us and give nothing to us. They enrich themselves. That's why the Most High God is going to have to destroy tear into pieces these these oppressors. Not us, but the Most High God. Let's get, get some more. Proverbs 22 and 16. We're going to get Proverbs 22 and 16. He's going to tell you exactly what, what's going to become of these stinking wicked oppressors. This is Proverbs chapter 22, verse 16. He that oppresses the poor. Right? He that oppresses the poor. You don't even need to know who that is or think of who that is. Why? Because we are poor. It's the oppressor, it's the so-called white man who's oppressing the poor. They enrich themselves off of our backs. Keep going. To increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to one. Read from the top. He that oppresses the poor to increase his riches. That sounds like T.D. Snakes. Read it from the top. He that oppresses the poor to increase his riches. That sounds like theft your dollar. Keep going. Read more. He that oppresses the poor to increase his riches. That sounds like Jamal Bryant. Who did they get that philosophy from? They got it from the uh, the white man. That is that is Christian. That is white supremacist Christianity, and they use that to dis to further themselves by destroying us. This is this is how we get destroyed by by lending our power, our love. To, to the white man. Instead of instead of taking our love instead of instead of giving our uh, our our everything to these oppressors, we need to take it off of them and, and put it back on us. Read it from the top. He that oppresses the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to one. They shall surely come to one. It doesn't look like they well I take that back. Look around the world. What's going on in in, in, uh, in uh, Ukraine? Uh, what's going on in, in in Israel? They are surely going to. They are surely coming to one. This is the beginning of World War Three, and this is by the hands of the Most High God. Niggas ain't start nothing in, in Gaza. Niggas ain't start nothing in Ukraine. Most most of the time, we don't even know where Ukraine is, so we got nothing to do with these stinking heathens. These devils, they have been a cancer and a virus on this whole earth. And the Most High God is, is, is going to put them away. You know what I'm saying? Read that, read that one more time from the top. He that oppresses the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to one. Right? Drop that. Give me Malachi 3 and 5. Malachi 3 and 5. And we want to see exactly what the Most High God thinks about the oppressor. He has a very specific judgment. He has a very specific uh, uh, feeling towards the oppressor. And you know what? That same uh, uh, ideology, that same mindset that the Most High God has, we need to have that on these oppressors as well. But the difference is, he is going to take action, and we are just going to going to look. There's nothing that we can do. Only thing that we can do is take our love off these heathens. Right. off these oppressors and put it back on our people. Get our people off the corners. Get our children up out the sewers, up out these uh, 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 so-called child care facilities. We need, to get, we need to have a black man in every black house. And if we had a, a black man that followed Commander Jeremy Ahada, who follows Christ and the Most High God, in Sonia Massey's house, she would still be here. If everybody paid tithes to, to ISUBK, she would still be here because she wouldn't have had to dial 911. She would have called her camp leader and said, somebody's outside my house. 
the camp leader would have sent soldiers over there and protected Sonia Massey, right. not destroy her. We got the white man to thank for destroying Sonia Massey. I will never forget what they did to my sister. That's right. Read what you got. And you know what? The Most High God will never forget this either. That's right. Read it from the top. Right. This is Malachi chapter 3, verse 5. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, and against the false swearers, and against those that oppress the heavenly in his wages, and the widow, and the fatherless. And so, so Read that from the top one time. And I will come near to you to judgment. And I will, and I will be a swift witness against the false, against the sorcerers. So he's going to be a swift witness. This is the most high God. He's going to be a swift witness against the sorcerers. You know what I'm saying? You know what the sorcerers are? Sorcerers are the drug dealers. That's quick and easy. Drug dealers. He's going to be a witness. The most high is going to be a witness against them. Keep going. And against the adulterers. And against the adulterers. Who is the adulterers? The adulterers is is is, is the people is, is a man who sleeps with another man's woman. The adulteress is a woman who's married who is who is having sex with another man who is not her husband. He's going to be a witness against that. Keep going. And against the false words. And against the false words, the liars. Who is the devil? The devil is a liar. Keep reading. And against those. That oppress. And against those that oppress, if you got power and you're oppressing the people, he's going to be a witness against them. Keep going. The hireling and his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right. And turn aside the stranger from his right. Yeah, Babylon is falling.